I'm here with the one and only NASCAR driver, Mr. Salvatore. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? I've been pretty good. So how long have you been um, driving in NASCAR? I, I've been driving in NASCAR since the beginning of this year. Uh, I've been racing since 2012. What made you get into it? I just, I've always had a passion for motorsports my entire life, and, and racing has always just been one of my dreams and, and one of my goals that I've set out to accomplish to do, and um, that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm, uh, it's been a lot of hard work. There's been setbacks and struggles, but you know, the, the thing you, you never give up is, uh, or you never forget is to never give up and to keep pushing forward. I was, very, I was very fortunate this year to be blessed with the most popular driver in the NASCAR Canaan Pro Series. So, oh, very fortunate, yes. So, what advice would you give for up and coming NASCAR drivers? Uh, to never give up and to keep practicing and be able to take constructive criticism because I've taken a lot of constructive criticism and you have to be able to learn from it and not take it personal and, and it, that'll make you better. That'll make you a better driver. That'll make you, um, in my opinion, uh, a better person because you can take criticism and you can learn from exactly. yep and well, the new year's is right around the corner do you have any new year's resolution keep practicing keep practicing, keep practicing. and i'm, I'm really? racing dirt all winter so uh because our nascar season's over so i'm doing dirt racing all winter and then next season come february i'll be even better perfect thank you so much yeah i appreciate right. your time okay. yes <laughs> Well, you know, every time I, I see this, like, there's nothing but love. See, there ain't yes. nothing but love. Everybody love you. Yes, no, Everybody and we all love, love you. you. Well, praise the yes. Lord. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm here. What are you doing for Christmas? Um, I'm spending time with my three beautiful kids and my mm. wonderful husband. I'm not doing the in-laws. I don't do no. oh. <laughs> I don't do that. Thank you. What are your New Year's resolutions? My New Year's resolutions are the same every year. Mm. I'm going to stop using profanity. Mm. That don't work. I'm trying, though. <laughs> I'm trying, though, and I want to lose about 10 pounds. I always have a little, and I want to um, just be a better person. That's all. Oh, okay. Well, I look forward to seeing you on that panel tonight. Oh, and I absolutely. Know that you do a good you know job. I'm a relationship expert, so oh, I got to course. figure out what's up with Shamar Moore. Yes. What's, why is he single? <laughs> I can hook him up. I got plenty of doctor friends that are oh, looking for a man. Her, right, we can Shemar? hook him up tonight. That's your goal tonight. That's my goal. Yes, and by the up. end of the year, I'm going to call you and see if you are successful at it. I think any of one of my friends will uh, uh, be happy to have them. Okay. Ooh, keep me posted. I will. All I right. will definitely. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm here with the host of the night, the one and only Mr. Satchu. How are you doing this I'm evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, what can we you. expect from you tonight? Wow. Um, we can expect, I'm, like you said, I'm hosting tonight. This is Shamar's, I guess, comeback of sorts. We haven't seen him on screen in quite a while. So um, I'm excited about the movie. I'm excited to talk to Shamar. I'm excited to talk to Bill. Um, I think it's going to be a good night. There's a lot of anticipation around the film. They've been going to a lot of cities. And I don't think Atlanta will disappoint. I think they'll have a good crowd tonight. I think the support will be good. And um, I'm just here to kind of make sure the night flows smoothly. And everyone knows that you stay busy. What? What other tricks do you have up your sleeve? Because I know you're always working on something oh, new. Wow. Um, well, you know, I am. We are gearing up to go into uh, anniversary year for Upscale Magazine. And my personal brand, SeenBySatchel.com, um, has undergone a major makeover um, that I'm excited about. So it's actually up and running now with a new gift guide. That's pretty cool. Um, so Seen by Satchel, Upscale, um, some television stuff in the works. I don't want to be that person that says I can't talk about it. Um, I could talk about it, but it's still in the works. So there's no need to put it out now because then we won't talk about it when it gets here. But um, working, man, all things media, all things entertainment, that's what I do. That's what I love. So um, you can always expect some new, fresh stuff from me every time you see me. You're, you're, you're an inspiration, so keep up the good work, okay? Thank you, sir. I no, appreciate thank it. you. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Have fun tonight. See, I would introduce this lovely lady, but she needs no introduction. See, uh, we go back like baby and pestifiers. Baby, okay? <laughs> we go back like spines, honey. That's how far back we go. How have you been? I've been good, honey. Blessed and highly favored. I don't have nothing to complain always about. Always looking good as always. Thank you know you, you know. have to give us a 360 now. Oh, the 360? Okay. Yes. We gonna... <laughs> Damn. What do you have planned for Christmas? Nothing. No? Absolutely nothing. And I uh, love it. Yes. Really? My family, you know what? We don't do the big let's love each other on the mm -hmm. holidays. We love each other every day of the year. Right. So when a holiday comes along, mm -hmm. that's not the time to have the big dinner. You do that on Sundays like Big Mama used oh, to do. Okay. So for me, <laughs> uh -huh. it's just about everybody get up, have mm -hmm. some pizza, leave on your pajamas, yeah. and you don't want to brush your teeth. That's your business. And do nothing. So you have 30 days to come up with your New Year resolution. Do you have to yes. in mind? Um... 
I think I'm not going to be vegan anymore. Because oh. I've been doing veganism. I think I'm going to go back to being a pescatarian. I can't decide. That's the only resolution I have because I feel like we set ourselves up for the food fobs and the failure. Because on the first, we like, yes. On the second, we like, shit. shit. <laughs> yes. But it's always good seeing you like, always. Oh, okay, and if I don't see you before Christmas, Merry Christmas. Okay? Oh, yes, Merry Christmas. Yes. He ain't get no gift, but Merry Christmas. I'm probably not going to see him, but I love my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, I couldn't let you walk by without wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you, baby. Yes. You too. So what do you have planned for Christmas? I'm going to sit still. Really? I've been like... You do stay busy, so yes. you need that break. Thank goodness. Like, mm -hmm. me and my son and my dogs, we're all just going to cuddle up, watch some Netflix, and get our lives. Uh -huh. uh, Thanksgiving, I was in San Antonio with my dad, uh -huh. and then, you know, I've been on tour with Love Jones, and then uh -huh. shooting The Quad, and shooting Saints and Sinners, which is coming out top of next year. So, so tell us, fun. what can we expect from season two without saying too much? She did. No. <laughs> I'm trying to think how to tell you this. Okay, so what you think you know, you know nothing. Nothing. You're ignorant in a blessed way. Okay? It's going to be awesome. Well, tell the viewers when season two airs. Season two is coming out early spring of 2017. So just be on the lookout. You can follow Bounce TV on uh, Instagram. You can go to the website. And you can also follow me at Demi McKinney on Twitter, at Demetria, the number four real on Instagram. And then all the Saints and Sinners information will be right there for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. And always good seeing you, baby. Okay? Thank you, baby. Love okay, you. Love you. So I'm here with my, the one and only Reese. How are yes, you doing? Yes, I'm year? great. How are you? I'm doing great. You stay busy. You stay on the go. So what projects do you have coming up? I have two projects I'm really excited about. Vampire Diaries is one on CW. And I'm on second season of Saints and Sinners. This what can we expect from your character on season two? It's really, I have a really heavy character this season, so I'm really excited about it, but I can't talk about it. Okay. <laughs> but I am, I'm a reporter, my name is Anita Robinson, and i um, just really excited to be on the season two of it, you know, like, because I was on season one, but not much, but I'm back on. So you're wearing red, so again, the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I was trying to be festive. What Christmas? What's the ultimate thing? Happiness. Happiness? Yes. And that's pricey. Yes, yeah. see? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always good seeing you. Awesome Merry seeing Christmas you, too. Thank you. From your character. Oh, man, a lot of laughter, man. I came in, I killed this one, you know what I'm saying? I, I bodied it. It's like oh, I got this... Because it was just the chemistry that uh, me and uh, Shamar have, you know, yeah. from the brothers. We just took, we just took it all the way out, yeah. and it, it's a romantic comedy. Obviously, you know, it's fun. It's it's about love. You know, it's about you know getting hurt, but you got to get back in there. You know how you go to a rough spot with your shorty, yeah. and you like, man, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, should I call her? Yeah, maybe no. It's that kind of stuff, and that's why I think guys are gonna like it. The ladies gonna love it because it's you know women are really you know into the romantic exactly. thing. But I think if you bring your shorty, you and your shorty gonna have fun laughing at it. That's what's up. Thank you. You're welcome, my brother. Hey, can I get you to do a, do a drop right quick? Oh, what? Oh, oh, yes, okay. What, what's, the, what's the thing you need, bro? JoelBazil.com. JoelBazil? B A Z I L? Bazil. Yes. Joel Bazil. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Bill Bellamy. You rocking with Joel Bazil. You know it's real. What? How you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm here with the man of the hour, Mr. Shamar Moore. How's it going? Man, I just, I'm blessed. I'm proud. I'm excited. This is amazing. I didn't expect all this. This, so, is, this is the biggest. We've had a bunch of screenings, a bunch of premieres. but this We show out in Atlanta. That's Atlanta. ATL is no joke. They show so, love. Let the viewers know what the movie is about. It's a, it's a, this is a love story, but, it, but it's for the men and it's for the females. I made it for the females, all my baby girls, um, but the men will be able to relate. Um, this is just a silly, sweet, simple fun movie about real life but this is just a chance to just relate to some things feel some things and then just and just get your chuckle get your giggle get your laugh on it's just a feel-good movie um, it's about falling in love it's about uh, getting hurt and 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 falling out of love and then having the courage and the faith to fall back in love and we just do it we do it in a silly it's about love it's about friendships it's about parenting um, it's about you know decision-making in life um, it's about getting that faith back, getting that belief back. You know, we all want that tingling sensation. We all want those butterflies in our stomach. We all want a partner in crime. Nobody wants to live this life alone. Nobody, I mean, we're good by ourselves, but we're better when we got a, when we got a partner. And, uh, and you know, what I'm really proud of is, is, is 
Black folks are gonna love this, but it's not a black movie. White folks are gonna love this, but it's not a white movie. This is, I don't care what color you are, and there's a bunch of color in this movie. There's a bunch of color in this movie. I'm half black, half white, but I'm black. I'm proud to be black, but I'm also proud of the other side. Bill is black, Nadine is Latin, we got Indian, we got white. Um, but so there's a bunch of color in this movie, but it's telling a colorless story. And we don't, we don't have to rely on stereotypes or nothing. It's just an honest, sweet message about love. It's just, it's, this is just, you, we're not gonna win no awards. We're not gonna win no awards, but we've already won. And, and, what, and, and I'm paid for this movie. Hollywood wasn't really checking for it. Like whether they were che weren't checking for me, weren't checking for the idea. You know, it was lukewarm responses. And I said, I know, I know the story is just a good story. I believe in me. And I got relationships. I got friends. So I got Bill Bellamy. I got Nadine Velasquez. I got Yusef Dallaire. You may not know his name, but he's a very talented director. Cheryl Underwood did me a solid. Michael Beach did me a solid. Uh, uh, yeah, Callie Hawk did me a solid. Um, so you're going to recognize a lot of folks. Some got big parts. Some got small little parts. But we all came together. We all came together because they could feel my passion. And they just wanted to tell a story. Because I think us, people of color, you know, I'm not knocking slavery movies. I'm not knocking all that stuff that's out there. But, you know, how many times do we have to tell that story? And so all I want to point out is people of color have a broader range of possibilities of stories that we can tell. And so this hopefully will open. For me, this is bigger than just this movie. It's not about me up on the screen. I hope you enjoy what I'm doing, whatever. Yeah, will, but, but what I'm saying is with the success of this movie, especially the independent route, I, I paid most of the money, but my fans showed up and helped me two years ago when it was just an idea and brought $630,000 to the table. That's just, that's a pat on the back, that's a hug. And that also tells Hollywood that, that yo, you, the machine may not be considering content that people actually want to see. So hopefully this movie opens doors for other creative minds and, and lets them know that it can be done. You don't have to rely on the, on the big machine. Because the big machine, they got to hear us. And we look forward to it, so thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm excited. Uh -oh. So I'm here with my Jersey native, the one and Jersey. only Miss Taylor yes. from Mad Talking. How yes. are you doing this evening? I'm feeling great, feeling great. Kind of under the weather, but I'm getting through it. Uh -huh. See, she's a straight hustler. She just came back from Jersey and made it on time to hit the carpet. See, I did. that's that work ethic yes. that, that comes from Jersey, 973. Yes. <laughs> yes, shout out to Jersey, the Garden State. Grow that garden fresh. It's like... <laughs> so what have you been up to lately? Um... Honestly, just grinding, continue to hustle, trying to find my way through this industry, doing everything that I can do, keeping my mind solid, just focus on God and just driving. I think today I kind of, you know, my mind's blown. Everyone was Shamar Moore, Shamar Moore, and it kind of fell out my hands. And if anyone knows me, I cannot stand not getting interviews. Like, right. so now I'm plotting <laughs> in my mind right now, I'm going to get this interview. Like, when you see no my ifs and buts like, about it. No ifs and no buts. Like, even if I have to like crawl, like, and be on some like stalker stuff, like, yo, Shamar, I'm going to do it. So <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out right now, I'm trying to zone in and figure out how I'm about to get this interview. So with the New Year's coming ahead, what New Year's resolution do you have in mind? Um, my New Year's resolution would definitely be just to progress. I want not really much, I want more quality. So not more quantity, I want more quality. You know, personal interviews and interviews that people can see another side of, you know, these celebrities. Like, I don't really want the basic, um, we know what they're doing, we know the music they're putting out, we know the movies. I want to know the behind scenes, like what is your mission in life? What message do you have to inspire the world? So that's what I'm trying to focus on, on getting, you know, getting these celebrities to open up and see like, you know, what steps did you take to reach your success and why do you go so hard in the message that you want to give out to the world? <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? Two front teeth, like no. <laughs> What I want for Christmas is, hmm, what can I get at? You know what? I, don't want, I need a new mic flag. My mic flag has been through. Speaking of, I, I need one. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, though, because you know what? We're going to keep trying on, but I'm going to get a new mic. Matter of fact, let me give you a new mic flag. How about we exchange that? I'll buy you a I'm down. One. Send me your logo. Okay, I got you. Send got me yours. You. Okay, that's yeah, how we're going to do it. That's how we do. Jersey. Jersey. In the all building. Day. See, we respect each other, and yes. that's it. No, and we're no out. About Make it. sure you go, bounce back. It's all here. I'm about to go sit down and watch it and see what this love story is about. And hey, we're about to get it cracking. Stay tuned.